Happy Monday! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday dear. Monday? Monday. Happy birthday to Monday. Happy birthday to you. Where are we headed? This morning. Where are we going? The video door. Uh, no. Try again. The video door. We are headed to school. No, but the video going. You'll be back. No school, mommy. No school. No go, mommy. <laughs> We're going to school. No go. It's chilly today. No go. No go. No go. No go. Video day. Austin, video Austin, you don't have to go to school today. Just Ian does. I would. I would. Yep, yep, yep. do sign him up for kindergarten this week I signed him up or register him. See you later baby. See you later baby. So we are back home and I just wanted to share, I went by, we have a new coffee shop in town and it's Clutch Coffee. It's pretty good. I, however, was just wanting to show you this cute little cup. I ordered, they have like their kids drinks and I ordered a juice for Austin and it came in this little cup. That's so cute and I love this lid. And the fact that it's not like open and I don't know it's just more secure for in the car it's awesome and this straw I can't I don't know but it's like that plasticky kind of straw I don't know it's just real fancy fancier than any other place that I that I've experienced anyway so I thought that was pretty cool and he liked it some kind of like mixed berry juice for two bucks and now I see him over there messing on my computer. So anyway, we are home. We dropped Ian off at school. And we are going to get into things. I've got quite a few things I want to try to do. If little man will let me. Let's all cross our fingers. And hope that I can get him occupied so I can get some stuff done. How about you take one more? I'm a rare and cuddle lamb. I love how he holds my arm like that. Every time we sit here, he ends up doing that, and it's just so sweet. He puts his arm in mine and just holds on real tight. We're just chilling. We had lunch, and we're watching some Doc McStuffins at the moment. They played outside for a while, and now I need to get my butt into gear and actually get some stuff done around the house. <laughs> now look what he's doing. What you doing? Jungle gym. Yeah. You using me as a jungle gym? just wanted to pop on and say hi and yeah <laughs> that's all <laughs> the kids are outside again woo woo <laughs> normally they have maybe one good outside playing session but they did that earlier around lunchtime they've come in they've snacked had lunch watched TV just chilled out and it's 4.30, 4.40. So it's getting close to time to start cooking dinner. And I'm just, you know, cleaning up in the kitchen and stuff. 
And they just both put on their shoes and ran back outside. They were like, we want to go outside. I was like, go for it. It's awesome. Now, my kids are four and a half fish. Yeah, four and a half and about two and a half. Both boys. Our backyard is fenced. I can see everything. There's only a small section that I cannot see. And they really wouldn't go there anyway. It's just like to enter and exit. Because our houses are fairly close together in this neighborhood. So it's just to like enter and exit from the front yard into the fence. And so there's really no reason for them to be there. So for the most part, I can see everything that they're doing while I'm in the kitchen. I'll turn around and show you guys in a minute. Um, I mean, clearly they could, of course, get hurt. I mean, they can always get hurt. But, you know, for the most part, they're very good about watching out for each other and standing up for themselves they're pretty tough I'd say and it is heaven just to have peace and quiet which I apologize if you can hear the TV it's playing Mickey Mouse and I need to turn it off or, or down but I didn't have the remote and I just wanted to jump on real fast because I like literally just ran out the door <laughs> but it's awesome so if you have an opportunity or the place to safely once they're old enough and you think they can kind of fend for themselves, so to speak, within reason, and you can send your kids out in the yard, do it. <laughs> this mama says, do it. <laughs> it's just crazy how just that peace and quiet and knowing that they're getting their energy out. And I mean, obviously, they would probably love for me to be out there with them. And I will be out there with them. I always go out there with him in the front yard. Like, I'm not okay with that yet because of the road and stuff. But the backyard is, like, free range um, for the most part. So, anyway, I just, oh, it's great. So, I'm going to finish up cleaning what I'm working on here and eventually get dinner started. Um, had to ask Bradley to run an extra, an errand after work, which he hates having to do because <laughs> traffic is not good. So, he'd rather just be able to come straight home. But um, I didn't even notice it. But when I picked up my groceries this morning from Lowe's Foods to Go, they didn't give me my milk. And I hadn't even noticed yet. It's just been crazy. But I didn't even realize it. And we, st well, we still have some, but I just always buy more because I know we're going to run out. So I always have like a stash. So I just, I hadn't really realized it yet. And they called me and they were like, I think we forgot to give you your milk. And I was like, oh, let me check. <laughs> yeah, you did. So he's got to go back and pick that up. Um, so anyway, he'll be home a little later, so I may not start dinner right away, because um, we're just going to do something easy for tonight's dinner anyway, so it won't take very long to make. So anyway, it's been a good day. We've hung out. I've been productive. That always makes me feel good, because there are some days where I get absolutely nothing done, and that just makes me feel like blah. But today is a good day. So I'll flip you guys around and let you just see what they're up to in the backyard. <laughs> They're running over here because I'm waving at them. Hey! Yeah, they just threw their shoes on without socks. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get outside. <laughs> but yeah, they pretty much own this place. Um, I eventually, I want to get a good place for them to store all these toys. <laughs> oh, they pretty much just end up being left and I'd like for them to be put away. Clearly there's the building which we could put them in, but um, there's also our lawn equipment in there and it would just be chaotic for them. Like it either needs to be just for toys or just for lawn equipment. I don't necessarily know if I want them both in there or not. But anyway, we, um, the sandbox right now over here is uh, full of water, so I gotta get that cleaned up. And this little thing, they have tons of fun on it, but I think we're ready for a bigger play set, even though they love that one. But I think eventually, and maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be this year, 
Um, we'll put like a playset somewhere back up right in there somewhere is what I'm thinking. Like, you know, the wooden kind or something with swings and slides and clubhouse and all that fun stuff. That's the hope. <laughs> so yeah, they're having fun. Oh, what's Austin doing over there? Ian likes to pull things like a trailer. He's obsessed with trucks and trailers. <laughs> oh, did Austin? Oh, Austin's got his car over there trying to get it out of the leaves, I think. The wheels are turned. Oh, there he goes. Oh, they're so cute. If I do say so myself. <laughs> so I've been editing videos in my office and uploading one right now. And the kids, I can tell, are tearing up the place. So I hear Ian in there. I heard a big thump. And I hear Ian going, wow, wow, wow. I'm afraid to go look but I guess I better. <laughs> I'm going to take you guys along with me. Let's go see what these boys are getting into. And what is happening in here? I didn't be helping. I wouldn't help him. For one thing, this is supposed to be over there. And that really shouldn't even be in here but it is and that's my brand new lipstick that wasn't cheap that looks like you have completely destroyed why can't y'all just mess with your own stuff you don't eat it oh my goodness can y'all even see that focus there you go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> just, just makes me so happy. <laughs> it doesn't make me happy. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> oh, it Look at mommy. I should know by now, if I hear noises, when I come find you, you're going to be covered in makeup. Is that true? <laughs> Lights are on. Yeah, that's lovely. All right, so we are making dinner, and my husband brought in the mail because he's home now. And I got a book. Yay! I'm excited. This is called Passage by Indy Gantz. And the reason, I have no idea what it's about, <laughs> but I ordered it anyway because it's from a girl in my neighborhood. The author, she lives in my neighborhood, and I had no idea. I actually just met her not long ago at a like social event in our neighborhood and didn't even talk about what she did or didn't catch it if she said it and then I saw on Facebook that she was like I don't know when it published or when it came out let's see if it says um, okay. I feel like it just came out it says well it says 2017 so I don't know I don't know when exactly it came out and it says book one of the Akasha series and I didn't double check to see if any others are out um, but anyway um, I just I had the impression that it may have just published so anyway I just wanted to support her she was posting something about if you want to like make a review or something you can and I guess some of her friends and family were making reviews on Amazon that's where I purchased it um, but maybe somehow it, it caught that they were close and it was like rejecting their review so I thought well maybe I mean, we are friends on Facebook, but we're definitely not close friends. Like, I only met her the one time. So, maybe if I read it and I'm allowed to leave a review, it'll help her out. So, anyway, that's why I bought it. And I'm going to check it out. And I'm actually, you know, I it's kind of thick, which is impressive. I wasn't sure. I, uh, you know, I just didn't know. So, it's pretty good. It's um, 300 and some odd pages. So, I'm excited. I haven't read, like, a book in a while, an actual book, and not in, like, audiobook or a Kindle book <laughs> so it'll be fun to actually hold it and I do have to say just 
by in terms of holding it that it feels so good this this cover is like that matte like rubbery feel stuff and I just love it it feels so good so anyway hopefully I can get it read I just don't know when I'm gonna read but I will make the time I will make time <laughs> We are all trying to cheer Ian on to see if he can finish eating his food. Eat that meat. Eat that meat. Eat that meat. Eat that meat. Are you going to eat? Are you going to go eat? I think he can do it. He's only got a few bites left. Isn't that right, Austin? Yeah, mommy. Austin. Austin. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah. Ian. Yeah. Ian. Yeah. What about Daddy? Daddy. 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 Don't think I can get all that meat. Sure you can. Scoop it up. Take a big bite. Eat that meat. He's been wanting to watch videos. That's a new obsession of his. And he's not watched any all day. He's been a pretty good boy. And so I told him after dinner he could watch some for a little bit. Before bed. We'll have to say a prayer that it shows up, that we can find it. You think we can do that? Don't make ugly faces. Make nice faces. I get I get <laughs> That's a nice face. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> So I wanted to come on here and go ahead and close it out for tonight. Um, me and Austin are here. Can you say, can you say good night? Good night. Good night. We're here to read stories, and he loves this one. Let me show the people. Can I show the people? Baking Grandma, Baking Grandma. Baking Day at Grandma's. We got something on your face. We didn't get that washed off, did we? Well, anyway, it's called It's Baking Day at Grandma's, and it is part of the, let me see that real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, come on, let me see it. Baking Let's see. Grandma, Baking He's not going to let me see that one, but let me show you this one. Um, yeah, it's part of the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. So... If you're not familiar with that, um, I was going to see if the website, I don't know for sure what the website is, but I'm sure you can search for it. And um, I'll try to leave a link in the description box down below. But essentially, free books for your children under five. So, like, Ian gets them as well. But he, <coughs> he turns five in July and will start kindergarten. So he won't get them anymore once that happens. But Austin will continue to get them. And they get a free book every single month. And it's usually this um, 
paperback style of book. But the pages, I just want to say, are usually good quality. Kind of that plasticky, but paper. I don't know if that makes sense, but they're, they're decent. They're okay. Um, our kids haven't torn them up <laughs> yet. <laughs> and they like them. And it's something new and different, stuff I've never heard of. I don't know if people are are writing books specifically for her library or what, but they're decent. They're good books, and it's ex it's exciting. Ian got a new one just today, actually, and so for some reason, they seem to get them, like, days apart. <laughs> so, like, Ian gets one, and then the next day, Austin gets his. So, anyway, and it's exciting for them to get stuff in the mail. So, anyway, he loves that book. It's Baking Day with Grandma. It's just got a nice little ring to it when you read it. So, anyway, just wanted to say good night. Hope everyone had a fantastic Monday. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And do leave me a comment. I love getting comments. And it's my way to get to know you guys better. Alright. Bye guys.